I'm Lucas Usser and this is my road ID story. On Friday, October 9th, I was hit uh, while riding on Alihi Drive in Kona, Hawaii. I was there for the Kona Ironman World Championships as a spectator, trying to view the other side and how the, uh, how the triathlon world works and uh, was having a great time. It was Friday, the day before the event, and was looking forward to a great day on Saturday. I was riding home from the expo, casually, uh, in my street clothes. With my backpack on, with um, the frame of mind that I was just going a couple miles and I'm just going to cruise home. And uh, sure enough, it, it, it proved just that out of nowhere, you have to always be on your guard. And uh, a car turned in front of me, turning the opposite way that I was going, coming head on towards me and turning left. Uh, it was a green, a lime green VW Beetle, one of the newer models. And the uh, last thing I remember was, was seeing the front end. And um, that's the last I remember. I remember waking up on the ground and uh, wondering what the heck went on. And from what I can understand from witnesses and whatnot, they just heard a huge cracking noise, which was most likely my, my bike breaking, and, and then saw me lying on the ground. And as I was lying there, there was a lot of commotion, and, and all I remember is somebody grabbing my, my left wrist and uh, pulling my road ID off. And they, by doing that, they, they got all my contact information, and they, they started contacting uh, my, my mom, my family, and, uh, and through the network, by the time I was at the hospital, a 10 minute drive in the ambulance, everybody knew. Um, my family knew, the, the, the police officer had already talked to my family, uh, friends knew, and it even, all the, it even gotten around uh, back to the people I was staying with on Kona. So I was really thankful to have my road ID. It was huge. It, it provided a, a, a sense of comfort that uh, nothing else could have done at that point. Um, as opposed to me having to tell everyone and, and go through the story multiple times, uh, everyone was well informed and, and waiting to waiting to act at any at any moment. Um, luckily, my inj my injuries weren't as severe as uh, as they could have been. There was um, there was definitely a scare. Um, I had a concussion. I had a lot of bruising, a lot of a lot of swelling going on. But a week later, I'm here. I'm sitting down. I'm I'm enjoying the beautiful fresh air. And you know, there's uh, it could have been a lot worse. So I got to thank a lot of people out there for for helping me. A lot of a lot of people I don't know. Um, strangers that just were passing by that helped me out and you know I got to thank uh, Road ID and apparently I owe a thank you to Kate Major who's a professional triathlete there and was competing the next day and and she was a she was living across the street from where it happened and Kate I thank you for for helping me out um, if if any of you don't believe what I'm telling you telling you right now I gotta live in proof that uh, you got to be careful and on your guard at any moment so. As you can see, my bike didn't really stand the test of uh, this accident. So it just proves that wherever you are and, and, and whenever you least expect it, the, the worst can happen. So be on your guard, wear your road ID, and, and make, sure you, uh, make sure you stay safe out there on the road. I'm Lucas Huser, and I wear road ID.